Hello, friends. It's Miss Kathy coming to you this afternoon from Classroom 7 in school. When I sent you the morning meeting, we talked about the season of fall and autumn. And we also talked about apples being a big part of that season. Today, we're going to read a story about how apples grow. I plant a little apple seed in the rich soil. I cut my apple. I had an apple. I cut it in half. And I took the apple seed out. I don't know if you guys can see it. There it is, the little tiny apple seed. And I'm going to plant it. I'm going to plant it in the soil. Okay, so I planted my apple seed. See if I can, so you can see it. The sun shines and the rain falls. So the sun is going to shine and the rain is going to fall on our apple tree. Okay, so we got the sun and the rain and everything's falling. I know you guys love when that happens. Let's see what happens next. Remember this, because we're gonna put this all in order. A seedling sprouts and starts to grow. So here's a little seedling sprouting out from the ground. After three years, a strong sapling grows straight and tall. One, two, three years. That's a long time. And then the tree will begin to grow bigger. Do you see the difference? This was at the beginning, this is three years later. Look at how many more leaves we have in this one than in this one. After five years, the tree gets some spring blossoms. Look at the pretty flowers on the tree. But that's after five years. And bumblebees visit the blossom. Why do you think the bumblebees visit the blossom? Do they take food and transfer it? And it helps to make the plant grow. In autumn, which is the fall, same season that we're talking about, the apples ripen on the tree. So see the apples? In the fall, they get nice and red. Or they could be green or they could be yellow. Or blue. And I pick an apple from the tree. That's where my apple came from. It came from the tree. Look at the stem. It was on the tree. I take a bite of the crisp red apple. Let's see if it's crisp. Mmm. Can you hear it? Crunch, crunch, crunch. So I took a bite out of the apple. And I eat the apple, but I leave the core. And the core is the inside of the apple right here. I'm not going to eat that right now, but you eat all around the core of the apple. And what is this I see inside the core? What's inside the core? Just what we started off with. Let's see. I see a seed. 
I plant the apple seed in the rich soil and it starts all over again. Now what we're gonna do is see how the apple tree grow, what we did first, what we did next, okay? So the first thing, uh, things all fell, by the way, was it planting the seed? Or was it the weather, the sun shining? If you guess planting the seed, you're right. Ding, 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 ding. You are absolutely right. The first thing we did was plant the seed. The next thing that happened, was it the sun and the rain coming? Or was it the little tree that grew, the little plant? What happens after we plant the seed? I have a friend with me, Miss Julie. Miss Julie, what do you think happens next? I, I think it was the sun and the rain. Good job, Miss Julie, yay! It was the sun and the rain. And after the sun and the rain helped to grow the seed, did we get the little tree? or the big strong tree? Which one? Miss Julie? I think it was the little sapling. Good job, Miss Julie. We got the little tree. And after the little tree, did the tree get stronger and grow bigger? And then we got the flowers on the tree or did the flowers come first and then the tree grew bigger? Hmm. Hmm. What do you think, Miss Julie? Do you think the flowers were first or the tree grew to a big, strong tree? I'm not sure. Miss Kathy, did the flowers grow? I don't know. Do you think the tree might have needed to grow first, Miss Julie? Oh, I think you're right. I think the tree had to grow big first. Good job, Miss Julie. The tree grew first. And then, did the flowers come next or did the bees come? and eat the leaves. Did the bees eat the flowers? So the flowers came first or did the bees eat the leaves? I think the flowers grew. Right, Miss Julie. The flowers grew first. Then what happened next? Was it the, the bees? took some of the nectar from the flowers and helped to grow the tree? Or did the apples just appear? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, Miss Julie? Ooh. Did the bees get the nectar from the flower? Very good, yay! Ding, 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 ding. The bees, oh, can't see that, took the nectar from the flowers. Good job, Miss Julie. Okay. Now, did the apples grow or did we just pick an apple? Did the apple just show up? Um, I think the apples had to grow first. Good job. Ding, 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 ding. See, the apples have to first grow on the tree. Okay, Miss Julie, did we pick an apple first or we just took a bite? First. Good job. So we picked the apple. It's a whole apple. It's a big red apple. And what happens, Miss Julie? Do we have to bite it to get to the core of the apple, or do we just get to the core magically? I think we have to take that first bite. 
That's right. We took the first bite. Remember how crunchy and juicy it was? Mm. And the last thing we did was we had the apple core left. We ate the whole thing. We ate the whole apple. I got none of it. <laughs> so first we plant the seed. Then we have the sun and the rain. Then it goes into a small tree. Then it grows into a much bigger tree. But then it grows into a tree with flowers. And then the bee takes the nectar and helps make more apples on the tree. And then we pick our whole apple. Remember I showed you the apples, a big apple. And you pick it from the tree. And then you take a bite and say, mmm, mmm, mmm. It's crispy and juicy. Miss Ellie, I want a bite. Miss Kathy, I want a bite. Here, Miss Julie, here's a half an apple. Thank Yum. You. And the last thing we get to is the core of the apple. And then you can start all over again and plant a seed. Until next time, have a great day.